This is my maintenance tool cart. I'm an industrial maintenance technician. This is what I use on my daily utility knife, scraper. adjustable wrench sometimes I use this 3 8 driver this is just a bit case for a drill or whatever zip ties electrical tape paint marker standard and metric allen wrench set a note bag. You can open this up and write in your diary, whatever you want to do. Last thing I did, I made a bushing and machine shop. So it's nice whenever you measure something, write everything down or whatever you have to do. I always keep markers and pens in case I need them. A little tiny hammer that I shortened up comes in handy. Teflon tape. I used to put electrical tape on there, but I use it so often that I just put it in here now. It makes it a lot faster to get it. I use this less often, but I still want to have it on the side and out of the way and still with me when I do need it. Then I just keep this little plastic clamp. This thing comes in super handy, even though it's really cheap quality. It's just a little, like, not even 50 cents for this clamp. But I use it to get hoses or wires out of the way while I'm working on something. Say if I want to work in a panel, this is perfect because it's plastic. Then I have some little pry bars. And this one's a little size up. I have bigger pry bars, but they're right here. On the side, I have this long one. Then I have this brass punch. This thing comes in handy for spaces I can't reach in. Then I got a, suck, a set of screwdrivers, Milwaukee ones. I used to have some cheaper ones, but my coworker bought me these for Christmas. And then I keep my little quarter inch impact driver. I keep my multimeter. This one's pretty good. I can do voltage, I can do continuity testing. Uh, ohms, I can do capacitors, check frequency, uh, I can do amperage, I can do non-contact voltage, kind of like a chicken stick, but I still keep a chicken stick, I trust that better. There's a NCV end right here to check, and it has a flashlight, lights up display, it even has a temperature sensor, but I don't need all that. It's magnetic. That one's pretty good. Keep my electrical stuff right here. These are my channel lock croopers. It's come in handy. I use them very often. These are supposed to be Romex. Uh, Romex splitters or remo uh, insulation removers, but I use them as, as uh, wire strippers and they work awesome. In fact, I only use this one when I need to get into a tight space, I can't reach in there, then I'll use these little ones. But other than that, I don't use them very often because I find the other ones way faster. Then these, lineman's pliers, these are awesome. I just use these ones on whenever I need to twist a wire before I put a wire nut on it. it works awesome. And then I have my flashlight. I keep my little keep my little uh, tape measure in here if I could do it right chicken stick cheap one works good I have a nice flashlight this one is pretty cool because it extends and then it has the little adjustable end right here not super bright but it works great so you can use it as a normal light or 
or you could just use it however. Then I keep my electrical connectors right here and some soft tappers. Wire nuts, spade connectors, whatever. Buck connectors, comes in handy. Now I'm just put them aside. I use that thing probably every day. Then I just have a set of imitation vice grips from Milwaukee. The vice grips are better than these ones, but I keep those for welding projects. And then this one, it's just a little wire brush. And I need to clean an armature on the DC motor or whatever. Some channel locks. Fuse cooler. This is my bigger one. I have a little one also. And then in here I just keep a outlet tester. A little cheap fine one. I keep my little fuse puller comes in handy this one's better than than this one this is kind of just cheap made I bought this one at Home Depot I wouldn't buy it again I'll get the bigger one next time of, of this version then in here I have a seven in one tool just as like a little socket driver it comes in handy but I'd rather buy a set and I'll do that later and then these are an extra set of channel locks these are only like eight inch they're not even that big but they come in handy and these are some needle nose super handy obviously diagonal cutters need those every single day every day and then in here I keep I guess my earphones didn't know that pay marker also very handy I have uh, these little screwdrivers from those hard to reach places. Also have a little set of these in there. Well, that's for the bag. Right now I'm borrowing my buddy's tools. He's been letting me use them. Pipe wrench and little pipe cutter and pipe bender. I mean tubing bender, tubing cutter. Those are cool, those work good. He just keeps, I keep trying to give them back to him, but he wants me to use them, so whatever. And then I put some chemicals, RTV, Loctite, contact cleaner. This is just for my Bluetooth stereo. I have a, oh, my coffee cup holder. And then I have some <clears throat> anti-seize, some pipe dough, some anti-seize for food grade. Electrical tape for when I work 480. Sometimes we, I guess our company cheaps out and they don't want to buy the color coded wire, so we use that to wrap it, help distinguish. Lockout tag out stuff. Uh, I have more lockout tag out stuff, kind of like this, but they're being used on machines right now that I'm working on. I made this, I machined it back when I was in machining classes in college just a little tungsten holder which I'm all out which means I'm not a good TIG welder at least I haven't been for a while keep my little uh, my little soldering tip this one comes in handy for certain jobs then I also have some solder filled with Flux, striker for when I use a oxyacetylene torch. And then I have all these adapters I keep in here whenever I need to use a grease gun, something doesn't have a proper fitting, and I can just have it ready. Keep some gloves in here, welding, mechanics, just driver gloves. And some welding sleeves because I really don't do too much welding anymore and if I'm going to I have coveralls in the shop some wrenches some of the bigger wrenches where we work I mainly used standard so I don't have to buy metric I haven't had to and then I have some 
set of uh, Allen socket drivers or whatever those are called. And then here's some just oddball ones. Some more wrenches. These ones are gear driven. These ones are nice. I have some metric of those for the smaller sizes. Not very often I need them, but when I do, they're handy. So big channel lock pliers. Coworker gave me these two for Christmas. And I have another one right here that I bought. This one's a 18 inch proto crescent wrench. It's nice. And I got my little medium sized ones. And then a spud crescent wrench, which also is nice for lining up a hole or whatever. We've got to bolt something up. This one at one point was my baby. It's like a 24 inch, maybe a little longer, ratcheting breaker bar with adjustable angle. To buy it at Lowe's for like 70 bucks, pretty good. Keep a level. Center punch. I just put it on this side so I don't get messed up with all this stuff. This one's for um, Torx bits. I don't need them that often, but when I do, at least I have that. Um, this one's pipe wrap marking pipe. I have some sockets here. I have more in my other toolbox. Some files coming in. Uh, punch, center punch for when I drill a hole. Half inch ratchet. Husky is the way to go for me. I feel like they're built pretty strong. Um, these are cheap punches. I like these because if you can tell, they're so cheap. I got them for Harbor Freight. I could grind them for a specific pin size and I could just punch it out. They don't hurt my head thinking about grinding it because they're so cheap. It's no big deal. And then uh, it's always good to have a triangle file because a triangle has 60 degree edges and that's what a thread is. So this could fit almost any thread as long as it's a normal V groove thread. Then in here, I have some power tools, just a little saw, Milwaukee saw, air gun, little die grinder, lifting strap, four foot strap, brushless drill my wife got me for Christmas. Uh, Ingersoll ran impact gun. This one's like a 900 foot pounds, pretty strong, half inch. This one's a half inch air grinder. I don't use it as often because I have my Milwaukee one. But if I'm gonna do heavier grinding, I would use this one instead because we have like an endless air supply here. Unlike battery power right here, you get issues with it too because this is not a brushless one. So it's okay, it does most probably 95% of the jobs but once in a while I'll need to use this one this one comes in handy this is a cobalt um, air hammer and in fact this thing is kind of a piece of shit but I made it work by putting it together correctly because <laughs> it came with the air leak to where it wasn't working properly I had to take it apart and I doubled up the O-rings in one area and that actually made it seal and make it work good, so. And uh, I keep the four pound hammer. This thing's really handy, especially because sometimes you really need to move a thick piece of steel, this'll do it. And then I keep my dead blow. That one's also really handy. And then a temperature gun. When I need it, it's there. Keep some wheels, grinder cones, and then I got my sawzall blade in the back, but yeah, it's fine. You know, it's not the first time you guys see a sawzall blade. The only thing I hate, I feel 
like I don't have enough room in my car. Okay. Then I got chemicals on the side. And I have a glove dispenser that's empty now. My magnetic trays. I just set them like this. Then I keep my welding helmet. I used to have a nice one, but I broke it. I ran my toolbox into something on accident. I had a, a Lincoln one, but it's all right. I'll get one eventually. And then I got my face shield and I put a little light on it, a headlamp, just zip tied it to it. It's pretty cool. Pops out. Here I got my waterless wipes. These are awesome for getting grease off. Grease gun. Keep my lifting harness for myself or safety harness. And I keep an extra air hose in case I need it. And then these are just some knee pads. in handy having everything that I need at least most of the stuff I need and then the rest I just go get it somewhere else if I need to 